Okay guys, I just moved to North Carolina not even six months ago. Very new here. Um, and I'm looking at homes, so I figured I'd take you guys on my journey. This one has a porch. We're gonna go inside. This is a door, another door. Sorry, I'm gonna leave this open because it's so dark in here. I'm gonna do a walkthrough with you guys. So when you first come in, there is the foyer, or some people like to say vestibule. And to the right is a dining room. It's like, not like a close up dining room, it's an open concept. Really pretty though, nice size. They have a chandelier here. There's a window there. Here is living space you can give you a pan around it's pretty big actually that's a kitchen we'll get to that in a minute but this is the living room so let me just give you an idea how it's set up once again that's where I walked in sorry for making you dizzy I'm going too fast we're gonna go in here I think this is probably the master yeah it is so has two windows nine foot ceilings and you can see it has a really nice molding oh look at the closet ding 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 this is what's up this closet is absolutely it's not that it's huge but it has a window bench shelving all around and it has this cute little island with storage and it also has a built-in so all you have to do really is Swap out the wire shells for some regular shells. Maybe put another one. Shoes. Yep, I could definitely see myself in this closet where my husband is going to be. Well, that's another problem. But the actual um, bedroom is not huge, but it's, it's big enough. It's pretty big. It's big enough for me. Some people like it a little bit bigger. Now we're going into the master bath. This is... A huge linen closet is very deep you also have a nice tub and I like the fact that they do have um, with the tub a window I don't know why okay sorry about that with the camera it's a little weird the way it's picking it up it's too bright so you have a nice garden tub there's a window right there it's set in so that's nice you also have some mirrors here for the bathroom and it's double sink which is awesome and the shower is so here's its shower let me just pan back so you can see it and the awesome thing about this shower is you can see the tile goes all the way up to the ceiling it has a rain head shower it has a shower bench and then it has another shower head over there with more than one um, for separacles for use and yeah that's pretty cool of course here's the toilet <laughs> but yeah so let me just go back to the regular light so that way yeah so it's a pretty nice bathroom and that's where the closet was for the bedroom I'm walking from the bedroom sorry it's dark but this is the living space I just showed you guys let me see if I can bring the light up a little bit okay that's better once again there's the foyer there's the dining room now we're gonna go into the kitchen it has an island you can definitely get a couple of uh, you know some chairs there for seating for breakfast or whatever like a breakfast bar here is another little area which will be perfect for like a coffee or tea station. As you can see, the, the molding, the crown molding is going all the way around. And here is the stove. I like the oven stove combination. I'm sorry you guys, I don't like flat cooktops. I guess I'm old school. Perfect and it's a nice size oven, warming drawer on the bottom and it has five eyes for the cooktop. This is nice because there's enough room on each side for storage and let me pan back and give you guys how beautiful this really is. It's a nice home. Now here's the island. I like the size of the island also but then you also have on this side, let me just pan up, 
give you guys an idea see how big this area is this is where there's much more cabinetry looks like 42 inch cabinets to me it's a nine foot ceiling you have the double wide uh, double sided rather stainless steel sinks and a window and I love a window for the kitchen awesome there's also a side-by-side -side fridge so they're definitely not skimping on that and more cabinetry let's go back here and this is the mudroom it's a drop zone as well as where you would have your washer and dryer a little bit more room over there for storage plenty of storage here let me see what this is that's for your utilities for hot water heater and furnace but yes this is a pretty big drop zone with plenty of storage that's all the way up and down now here is another bedroom this is a guest bedroom sorry if I'm going fast it's freezing and there's no heat in here but it's a really nice size closet it's not that big of a room but it'll be perfect for um, an overnight stay for a guest or an office or a child this one looks like it's about the same size I'm just used to big rooms guys so don't pay me any attention this closet it's a nice size closet it really is it's pretty deep it doesn't it looks shallow but it's pretty deep and then here is the another bathroom this is the main hall bathroom and it's a nice setting as you can see it has a transom window at the top and um, a sink here of course and yeah it's a pretty nice size room it's not like a manufactured home it's a modular and oh I forgot it does have a ceiling fan here so that's it I hope you guys like this video if you want to see me do more videos of my home search then definitely subscribe like and give it a thumbs up and I'll do more of these if you like them just let me know in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys later